Hi guys, this is Drinking Kathy here with my 24 week post op RNY update. I had RNY surgery, that's gluten Y, um, gastric bypass surgery, on February the 1st of this year. And I am 53 years old and 5 foot 4 inches tall. So, um, yeah, a lot has happened in the week. Um, well, I guess first off, I'll start with my weight loss. I am down 1.2 pounds since I came to you last. So I have a total loss of 102 pounds now. So that's good. I'm glad it's still going down. I wish it was going like 1.2. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's a lower weight loss for me. I usually average around 2 or 2.5 two pounds. But um, I had a 4 pound loss this month and when that happens I usually have a slow week in the week after or the two weeks after so it's pretty um, normal for me so um, since I saw you last and what happened oh okay well I've been walking and swimming like usual and I also rode my bike for 32 kilometers and um, I'm really proud of myself and I put that video up already so if you want to see that, it's a separate video, and I think I just called it 32 kilometer bike ride with drinking Kathy. So it was very hard for me. Um, the first half of the ride was almost all uphill, with a few downhills and then uphills again. I made it up the very first hill, which was the first time I've ever made it up that hill, but it did trigger my asthma. It was a hot, humid day, and that coupled with the hill, so I had to take my Ventolin, and um, but after that I was okay. But the trail is very windy. It's the first part of the trail is all through the woods. Um, it's a nice paved pathway. It's beautiful, but it goes up and down hills and around corners. And I'm a wimp, so I was walking my bike both up and down hills because I was too afraid to ride down the steeper hills because a lot of them had warning signs, um, even telling people to dismount your bikes because they'd be sharp turns like sharp turns at the bottom of the hills. So yeah, the first part was rough because my bike is about 30 pounds. I love my bike. But for the first part, I just pushed the bike everywhere. Dude, I thought, oh my God. So at least, I think for five kilometers, I just pushed my bike. <laughs> but after that, it was good. And I was able to ride more, well, the whole rest of the way. Um, so once I passed most of those hills. And after I passed those crazy hills, I was able to bike up every hill I came to after that. So, which was really good. And I biked down one really big hill too, which was shocking to me that I did it. But it was a road hill, and the, the trail was on the side of the road. Like, there was the sidewalk, and then the bike trail was right next to the sidewalk. So I felt safer, and it was straight. There were no sharp turns. But what was scary was the bike lane was right next to the, the road lane, and there were all these transport trucks cutting across from um, one highway to the other. You kind of have to go through the city to get around our highways. So that was scary. I don't like driving in transport trucks, but it was good and I enjoyed it. Um, I had an NSV this week. Um, I wasn't sure if I should mention it. Sorry about my hair, you guys. It's um, I'm about to go swimming, so I didn't want to do my hair before going and getting it all wet. But I was at the pool last week swimming my laps and this man kept smiling at me. So I smiled back. I'm, I'm a friendly person. But I haven't dated it since I was 28 years old. I am 53 years old. I don't want to get into everything, but I had two really bad relationships. Um, the last one was ended when I was 28. I ended it. I found out something about this man that I was engaged to that I don't even want to get into. But it was horrible, and um, it just I quit men after that because the guy before him, um, my fiance before him, was abusive. Um, now, when I say that, it wasn't like your traditional abusive. He only hit me once, and I left him. I didn't stick around to see if he would get better or worse. It was once is enough. That, to me, is a big, huge no. I will not put up with crap like that from anyone. So anyway, after two bad relationships in a row, I thought, I guess I'm not the best judge of character. And I just couldn't go through getting hurt anymore. And, um... I actually gained a lot of the weight after those relationships. So, um, 
Anyway, this man was chatting me up in the pool. We talked for about an hour. He asked me for dinner. And I hesitated, not because I was going to say no, but because I thought, well, what can I eat? And then I thought, should I go out and eat and have him pay for a meal that I can only eat like a few bites of? Because where I swim, there's a restaurant um, in the same building, and it makes delicious steak. And really good steak, but I thought he'd be paying an arm and a leg, and I'd only be able to eat like a little piece and have to take the rest home. And I don't really know him, like I've never met him before, so I didn't feel comfortable doing that. But while I was thinking all this, he took it as a no. So then he said, Well, if you're not ready to go for something to eat, how about drinks? So then I had to tell him I don't drink. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So he said, Well, how about like anything, a coffee, a pop? So then I didn't want to get into how I can't drink pop either. So I thought, Well, on my birthday, I had two sips of Diet Coke, and that's all I had. I, I didn't want any more. So I can always just order a Diet Coke and just have a few sips, and he probably won't even notice that I'm not drinking it. So I agreed to meet him for drinks, which really shocked me. Um, he was really nice looking, and if he wasn't lying through his teeth, then he has a, a good job. He has his own business. He owns waterfront land um, not far from the city, about 30 kilometers outside of the city. He was very handsome, but that we had so many dissimilar, like we were so different. It was funny. I love animals. Um, when I go for my walks, one of my favorite things to do is to watch the beavers and the red winged blackbirds and feed the squirrels and the chipmunks. And he hates all of that because his business, he says, these little rodents just chew up all of the vehicles that he owns for his business, and they cost him an arm and a leg. And he hates the beavers because they keep trying to dam this property and put it underwater. So every time we came to something that we didn't agree on, it's okay, okay, let's just change the subject. So it was getting so that there was no subject we could agree on, which I found funny because this is the first time I agreed to go out with someone. I couldn't stop laughing, you guys. I was laughing so hard I was snorting. I thought, oh my God. It was hysterical. I just thought it was the funniest thing in the world. I, like, seriously, I was driving around after that, just chuckling to myself. I couldn't stop laughing. I finally had to call my friend and tell him about it because he knows my history. So he thought that was funny, too. And, um, so I'll never see this guy again. Um, like, I don't want to see him again. There was just no connection, which is a shame because he seemed like a pretty good guy. But he, he's, he smokes sometimes, and I have asthma, and I will not ever date a smoker or even and I know this sounds terrible but I won't even make friends with a smoker because I've had lots of friends who smoke and they all smoke around me and I get sick sick to the point where I'm not just coughing a little bit I have to go to the ER and get a treatment my whole family all the smokers in my family they never I'd always say I'm gonna get sick and they'd say well I won't smoke around you and then they did um, my cousin always asks me for rides I tell her you can't smoke around me and she opens the car door and she wants to light a cigarette while sitting in my truck, just thinking the car door open is enough, like the truck door, but it's not. I get very, very sick. It's my worst trigger. So, um, and I, you know, I don't hate smokers, but I hate the smoke. And, and I hate the fact that my health doesn't seem to matter too much to them. Um, their addiction matters more. So I just don't have room for any more smokers in my life, so. But this guy that make a good catch for someone who doesn't love animals and doesn't care about smoking. <laughs> so anyway, but I did it. I am mean, so proud of myself because I got out of my comfort zone. Um, big time. So I did it. And uh, yeah, so that was good. And I'm sorry I'm coming to you so tired again today. Um, I haven't been sleeping well. And I, I don't know. Well, I kind of do know why. My smartphone keeps waking me up. I finally figured out how to turn off notifications for Facebook. As soon as I fell asleep, it would ping and make these loud noises. It was getting so I put the phone in the other room and then my uncle would get mad because he'd be trying to call me and I wouldn't hear it ring. So yeah, that's why I'm so tired. But I did finally figure out how to turn off the notifications for Facebook on my phone. I'm late to the whole smartphone thing. I just got a smartphone um, in the winter when I had my surgery. My little nieces and my nephew were shocked that I didn't have a cell phone. Um, and they gave me one of the old ones. My sister Allah did, actually. So I'm using her old phone, and it's, like, really old. So, but it's good. It works for me. Anyway, um, I have to go buy some new clothes pretty soon. My bras are getting too big. The straps keep falling down. 
my tops are getting too big, the straps fall right off. Um, I need new underwear because the backs of my underwear I can pull up <laughs> all the way at my back. So like the pants that I'm wearing are fitting, I've just been buying leggings, but I need to go buy more, more other things. So I'm going to have to, and I don't want to spend too much money because I literally just bought this top and it's already falling off me. So, and I have others just like it that I just bought and so I don't want to spend too much money. And I still need to lose about 60 more pounds to get to my first goal and then we'll see from there. But, um, but I guess now that I can fit into like a size large, I can just go to a secondhand store, see if I can find some deals. Although the last time I went to the secondhand store at Value Village, it was cheaper to go to Walmart. So, um. There's one other secondhand store that I can check out. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Oh, and I was supposed to go bike camping today, and I was so excited about that and kind of disappointed that I didn't get to go. But I got the bike ready. I got all my stuff ready. That I loaded everything in the panniers. And then they make it look so easy online. Like, I, I watch Crazy Ghana Bike. That's a website. I read all the uh, blogs. Um, going Slowly is a blog that I read. It's about a couple that traveled all around the world on their bikes, um, excluding the times where they had to fly from place to place. But um, they make it look so easy. It is hard to strap stuff to your bike. So I had no trouble getting the panniers on. But then I still have my sleeping bag, my um, tent, and my sleeping mattress. And they have to be strapped to the back rack. And I don't have the right kind of bungee cords. So I have to go buy bungee cords, and apparently you can buy some kind of a net with bungee cords attached. So I'm going to try to, Canadian Tire has them, I checked online. So, but I couldn't get everything loaded on my bike without everything was falling off. Plus now I'm going to have to go through everything and take some stuff off because I've packed way too much. Um, I tried riding it fully loaded. It is very hard to ride with all the stuff on it. And I don't even have front racks. I just I have a front basket, but not only back racks. I will be getting front racks soon. Um, the only problem is my bike store wants to keep my bike and order the men's special and then I have no bike for a week or two. So I don't want to do that. So I might just make do with what I have for this year. And when it's too cold to, um, ride, then I'll bring the bike in and have them fit it for next year. Cause I would like to go visit my friend next year on my bike and she lives about 180 kilometers away. So I will definitely need more space on my bike by then. But hopefully I'll be lighter. Well, I not hopefully. I will be lighter by then, God willing. And um, it will be easier to ride. So even though my bike will be heavier, I'll be lighter. So it will work out to probably... Well, I won't be carrying 60 pounds worth of stuff, and that's what I need to lose. But I think I'm trying to carry about 50 pounds worth of stuff right now. It gets heavy. So, and then I finally got everything sort of strapped onto the bike, and all the great clouds rolled in, and I thought, what? So I ran inside to see if the weather channel had changed because I did call for some light rain overnight and in the morning. But I thought, well, it's at less than two millimeters, which is nothing. So the tent should be fine with that. And and tomorrow morning it was supposed to rain a little wee bit, like a, a scattered shower. But then they changed it. Now tomorrow's going to be thunderstorms So uh, and lightning. I'm not be riding my bike in thunder and lightning. There's no way. So, um, yeah. So that's what, what's going on with me. Um. And that's really all that's new. So um, I want to thank you all for all of your comments on my bike, on my 32-kilometer bike ride video. I apologize so much. When I put it up, something went wrong. Like, when I recorded it, it sounds fine. But when I uploaded it, I don't know, somehow between my computer and YouTube, it got rid of some of the audio on one of the little clips, and it's just all static. And then some person decided that that was a copyright infringement and that that was music with static like really bad horrible static so they filed a copyright thing on me so I said no so I filed right back and I said no this are like I disputed it and I won because I said please you know YouTube watch the video it's just me on my bike panting and gasping for air, talking about what I'm looking at there's no music I don't like videos with music I will never add music to my videos so um because I don't like them so anyway the person who filed the dispute like the copyright did it so that they could put ads on my videos I think they were just doing that randomly so they can put ads and I don't want that so they um 
I won, anyway, is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, here I'm babbling on and on, and it's 15 minutes, so I better stop here. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if if you if you liked what you saw, please hit like and subscribe. All right, take care, guys. Bye.